Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 44th episode of Zet Daikon and Children. And last episode, we actually got like the full on backstory of Minamoto, how he met up with Caroline, and how he got involved with her, and everything like that that entailed. And I was very unexpected, very unexpected. And then, you know, of course, at the current timeline, she's kind of like reverted to that previous state and went after Minamoto and there seems to be a lot of complicated things going on with this and stuff so we may actually continue that stuff in this episode so let's go and do it and see if that is true uh that was it should be fine um I do actually probably okay there we go there we go now for real three two one play. your helicopter That is true. That happened last episode. <laughs> well, of course. He has a vital role in the overall show, show in general. It's weird seeing her cover up so much skin. It just seems wrong. And open it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drink my water now. Ah. So we are definitely still talking about uh, Carrie. Yeah, that's how Fujiko is supposed to look. <laughs> ah. You know, if a literal mech can defeat our girls, and I'm pretty sure nothing can. <coughs> My wings. And a painful parting goodbye forever, Carrie. That sounds like a spoilery title. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. They say this with a smile. <laughs> uh, I don't think they like being here. I mean, enough to kill you. <laughs> okay, that was really cute. <laughs> I want to watch that again. I would love to see that it was shitty pen pen. They are being watched. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they probably accounted for that. That's probably the plan. I don't know. We did see her go somewhere. I didn't hear it. Ow. Yeah, what's the point of whispering if we're just going to yell it out loud? Hey, don't be bad mother Miyamoto, he does his best. Oh wow, they just stacked stuff. It? What's, what's Ada in this context? Oh, well this is a flat place. But we get a lap pillow. That's nice.
Yeah, this is a very complicated, messy situation. Yeah, this isn't... This is rough. Taihen, you might say. Good morning, Gary. How are you, how are you doing? I mean, you were on his lap. I'm sure he wasn't that lonely. Ignored. <laughs> oh, okay. We're doing something. Where are we? Okay, we're just like going on a date now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, give it a minute to cool down a bit. You don't need to burn yourself. <laughs> Well, uh, well, the children are locked away. Minamoto's out on a date. I'm sure they appreciate that. Uh, it's not that simple, Carrie. There's a lot of factors to consider here. <laughs> you can't say no to that. Well, yeah, it looks like he's having fun now. For the, as much as he can, really, given the circumstances. So weird to have him be called that. I'm so used to everyone calling him Minamoto. Japanese Moe. <laughs> oh my god, that... That was funny. <laughs> I was choking. <clears throat> Very subtle. Bro makes him blend in. He would never. He would never. I want to go back to that newspaper later. Does that about six minutes, right? One of the funniest things in the whole show. Okay. That's a little bit sudden. Those legs, though. Is it Minamoto? Oh, that's no, that's uh, Fujiko. <laughs> I guess she had his way with him. Guess is where she went. Yeah. So what does he do? <laughs> uh, uh, so Itazura, what does that refer to in this context? Just ruined it. <laughs> well, that was a thing. Back to our date, though. Ooh, that's a cute outfit. Oh, wow, that's a great outfit. Can we go back to that one? <laughs> I mean, she looks good in anything. Oh, that was sudden. I thought you were busy reading your newspaper. You were having so much fun, too. Oh! Oh, jeez, that... I guess that's the way to do it. Nice little punch. <laughs> Way to go, Minamoto. But there's still a lot of them. That's. <laughs> Is that Ken? Oh no, it's a Ken. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. I just kind of wanted to see Ken, so.
Oh, okay. He just pops in more more bad guys. Yeah, they got no chance now that they're all here. <laughs> got Mio and everyone. <laughs> Even him. The traitor. Oh man, you don't want to get hit by his big magnum. <laughs> you guys aim sucks. <laughs> and her too. Yeah, no problem with the bad guys doing bad guy things, right? The advantage of being a third faction. I mean, Nakama's a strong word. <laughs> Don't make me look bad in front of a new person. Yeah, and we 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 know why, right? Because the fear of never seeing Minamoto again, right? That was the thing, or at least I think it was. Well, we heard the boat's opinion. <laughs> Minamoto Koichi, I assume that says. Just because I could read some of the kanji. <laughs> So we're just we're just escaping. <laughs> yeah, very delicate situation we're in. <laughs> that was the first thing we saw on screen, his big magnum. I always think of the Rance Quest expansion every time I hear Big Magnum. Guess we're leaving. I don't want to think about it. I mean, it's not a not the worst idea, I guess. But I mean, got an important decision to make here, Minamoto. Oh, oh, uh, that's uh, uh, Mary, right? Our water bender. I think she's the one that does the water. Or I don't think that's Mary. Oh no, she is there. Okay, that just wasn't her leg, but she is there. Gotcha. And there's Ken too. <laughs> Always a treat to listen to them speak. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that would be that would that would be reasonable. And nobody can complain about it. Itsumo no Yoni. That's a good question. Oh. <laughs> We're ready to go. <laughs> Yay. Oh. Oh, wow. Here we go. Epic battle between two strong espers. <clears throat> it's like a Dragon Ball Z level fight almost. Chimoyo. Oh, <laughs> on the back. What? Yeah, he made him so pretty impressive. Oh no. No. Bedside sister. Is this a bedtime or bedside story? I know it means the same thing, but. 
See, he can do things. He can catch you. Oh, no. Okay, that's not good. Maybe we could run or... Uh... Can you really just do that? <clears throat> no. Uh, she's fighting it. Okay. Okay, we're getting into that. <laughs> there he goes. And I see Mary's face down as I back over there. Oh, and what now? Oh, them. Okay. <laughs> People just keep showing up. <laughs> yeah, these are the ones that matter. The children are here. Limit release. So we can do some damage. Gotta love the poses. <laughs> I'm sure you're not Sailor Moon, because there's a moon back there. First aid? Are you healing people? Because that does not look like healing. Okay, that's a shield. That one's right. And there's the wings. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Did you want those? They got four kids censored away. Are we going to take care of that? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's skedaddle. Let's get out of here. Oh, is it a good phone? Is it a good phone call? It looks like a good phone call. The president. <laughs> wow. Fujiko even got it here. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> are we? Are, is she just... Is she? Wow, Fujiko, you are impressive. The whole hag definitely comes in handy. That's for sure. Yeah, I wish I could go someday. <laughs> and then what? What do you see in his heart? A crying child. <laughs> uh, wish a cute girl would go inside my heart and give me a hug. <laughs> Okay. I mean, that's a lot. That is a lot. No need to... No need to short sell it. Yeah. Oh, she... So I guess she saw Kaoru behind him with wings? That That's interesting. Yeah, that is definitely interesting. <laughs> like, wow, okay. 
So I guess Kaori was just his destined one, essentially. Like, fated person, whatever, however you want to phrase it. As expected of the Queen. <laughs> I don't want to say goodbye to Carrie. <laughs> but I mean, the title of the episode was that, so. Carrie. Uh. <laughs> it does sound nice. And then they show up, yeah, once everything's dealt with, over. That's how it goes, but Carrie's gone. Now it's just Caroline. So at least now she can still pursue her space dream, right? <laughs> Where am I? What happened? What did I miss? Yo, ne. Yeah, she doesn't remember any of that. From her perspective, she just met up with him now after a long time. That's why there was that kind of questioning Yone at the end of it. But yeah, space, she gets to do it. She gets to do it. Her dream. Yeah, there would. It wasn't really an option. <laughs> Goodbye, Carrie. You will be missed. And that's, yeah, that's them. What? Oh, they, they have wings. Cool. Uh, just casually chilling with their wings. <coughs> My voice. <coughs> Wow, they just zoomed on over there. Basically. <laughs> no need to be mean, Kaoru. <laughs> Freaking pouty, jealous Kaoru. The last sentence reminded me a lot of a certain anime title. <laughs> what was it exactly? Uh, Emoto Sayadebai? Something like that. Not that sisters, all you need is the English translation. But yeah, I mean, that pretty much resolves it. So it was a two episode thing, like I thought. I hate my chair so much. <sighs> You know, the problem with buying, like, a computer chairs is you really... Well, buy, if you buy it online, is you don't know if it's going to be any good until after you get it, you know? So, I'm very wary to buy a new one because I don't know if I would even like it. And once you do get it, you got to put it together, and then you find out whether or not you like it. So, it's just the worst. But I definitely do need a new one. This one is partially broken. Wasn't even that comfortable to begin with. Okay, that's uh, yeah, that that was the <clears throat> the forty fourth episode of Zetai Caught in Children, and like I said, the title of the episode was definitely spoilery. Like it made it pretty clear how things were going to end. But to be fair, though, it like it was obvious how it was going to end because, like they kind of said here, G Carrie did not really want to get in the way of Caroline's dream. You know, Minamoto didn't want to get in the way of Caroline's dream, and Carrie. It would have, you know, if she didn't say goodbye, so 
that's just kind of how it had how it had to end right so that's that but the episode overall itself was a pretty cool exciting episode because we got so many people involved right we got you know we got the american people and also ken and mary get in there as well as well as the old guy whose name i don't remember and then you got kyosuke and then you got the children that came in because you know uh Pandora, Pandora, Kyosuke then being involved give them an excuse to deploy the, the, the children and then you have Fujiko who's like doing all these things behind the scenes you know in her own way in her own special way even the president so yeah a lot of cool stuff in that regard right yeah, it was very interesting how she saw like a, a shiny version of Kaoru with wings when, when in that one bit I don't I wish I could remember exactly which part that was at I think it was right about here yeah it's like, that's clearly Kaoru. Like, it's so bright that you can't see it in too much detail, but yeah, you can see the outline of the wings and the Kaoru style of hair. So, yeah, I mean, the only real way to take that is that Kaoru is his destined person, essentially, right? So that's why she recognized her. Because I was curious why she seemed like she recognized Kaoru before. Uh, and that's then that's why, right? So, that all makes sense. And then at the end of the day, yeah, Caroline went back to normal. She doesn't seem to remember anything about any of that stuff and just got to go into space and succeed in her dream so that's that's pretty nice and now you know from Kaoru and them's perspective the, the, the one right the potential rival's gone so there's that too and yeah it's always cool to see Kyosuke get, get to play a role as as helping us you know because he's obviously not like an evil evil bad guy so whatever we can get him to kind of like have join us in like a mutual enemy kind of battling sort of thing it's, it's always pretty cool I appreciate it right so, yeah, I don't think I have too much more to say on the episode. Just a lot of good stuff here. Although a little bit of a sad ending, but, you know, a sad ending that was for the best overall. That everyone kind of agrees with that for the most part. Right? So, and the stuff we got with the, ch with the children was great, you know, in the room. Like, threatening that one guy. <laughs> you know, that was that was a really funny scene. I liked that a lot. Probably, probably the highlight of the episode for me. Anyway, yeah, that's it's a good episode. Good episode. That's all I got to say, really. So, gonna end it off here. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.